Superbugs are bugs. Generally, we're talking bacteria, but it can be viruses and fungi, everything, that don't respond to antibiotics. This is something that is everywhere in our lives. It goes into agriculture, the food chain, our human health, and we have a high death rate. Calculations suggest 700,000 a year at the moment around the world. That's probably an underestimate, but it's set to get worse. Patients don't realize when they have a drug-resistant infection, and it doesn't normally go on the death certificate. Getting that number of people who are infected with drug-resistant infections is proving very difficult because there isn't a clear code. We really need all of us to press WHO to give us a proper code so we record it across the world and then we will know the answers to these questions. How many people are, are catching drug-resistant infections? How many are dying? And I bet we find it's higher than we thought. There's no excuse for countries not to start to put in place the needs of their people. And they start with infection prevention and control and good sanitation, as well as measuring the bugs and their resistant profiles and starting to do good surveillance and good antibiotic stewardship. To stop using antibiotics as growth promoters. And I think if we don't ban growth promotion in the next five years, we will have failed the global community. The role of the consumer is incredibly important and the US has led in that. They have been working with investors. We need as consumers to demand that McDonald's, Shake Shack, M&S, Waitrose, all of these who've made promises live up to those promises. The consumer is an incredibly powerful voice in this. And it is us as consumers who have the interest in, in protecting human health and making sure we don't die of these bugs.